Hello guys, Deb here with Art and Grace. Come on in, let me know that you're here. I'm sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. I hope that we're getting sprinkled over into the Craft Around the Clock group. Today is a segment for me there. So you guys let me know you're here, let me know you're watching, and I'd love to know where you're watching from. Oh goodness, let's see here. Get this pulled up. Hello guys, come on in. Okay, we've got a picture. Do we have sound? Hi, Brenda. Glad you're here. Can you hear me okay? Okay, looks good. Now, hopefully you can see my desk good. There we go. I'm glad to be here on this Friday. I hope you guys have had a good week. Hopefully the storms have not been bad where you live. Let me know how it's going, guys. Come on in and say hey. I'm excited to be here. I have a cute little craft, I think. I haven't done it yet, so we're going to do it together. But I've got an idea. Hi, Lisa. How are you today? How are you feeling? Okay, thanks, Brenda. I always just have to check before I launch in. Hi, Luann. How are you? Hi, Lori. Glad y'all are here. Okay, awesome. Excited to be here with Craft Around the Clock. Love the group. You guys, if you are not in it, I just put the link up in this description and you need to be in it. I feel sure that you are. But crafting almost 24-7. So if you're looking for ideas and inspiration, that's the only place you need to worry about. Just get in there and you will find it. Whatever you're looking for. Hello, Beth. I'm doing okay, Brenda. It's doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. I know, Rosie. I'm glad you're here live with me. It's always so good to see you guys live. I know I don't get to see you, but I know you're there. So, hi, Helen. How are you? Glad to see you. Yes, it is. It's very rainy and, and kind of gross here. Hi, Patty. I'm good. How are you? Um, so, I've been a little nervous about the electricity. So far, so good. So let's get started. So you, you guys know I love to use these kind of things for bases for my crafts or for my art. This came from Target. It was $3. You know, it's just such a good little nice. It's very sturdy. It's not cheap feeling at all. So this is what we're using as our base. Hi, Patty. Glad you're here. Thank you guys for sprinkling me out. I see that, Brenda. Thank you so much definitely helps it is see, uh, we're gonna finally get a little chilly weather here in texas so i'm really excited here's my little sketch y'all this is my little <laughs> we'll uh do something with that in a minute but i want to get a little background on so just my winter blue i use this a lot obviously in the winter because it is kind of a snowy you know when the snow's coming down and it's just that kind of snowy wintry blue that's what we're doing here so any flat brush to get this on. Hi Zena. I'm in Texas. I'm in South Fort Worth, Texas. So we're having rain and cooler temps today. I'm so happy about it. <laughs> not the rain so much as just cooler temperatures because it has not felt like fall and today actually kind of feels well like kind of almost like winter. You know like it's just that that kind of rainy day where you just want to stay under the covers but um but we're actually going to do some getting our fall stuff taken down and getting our christmas stuff you know out and maybe get put up today we'll see if i don't know how much we can all get done it's a group effort since i have this bad back and my daughter does the vast majority of it she is amazing and Oh goodness, I'm really not being careful, but it's okay because we're going to put snow at the bottom so you don't have to be so careful when you get this background on. Raining here, yeah. Oh, 53, Michelle. It sounds like about here. I can't remember what I read, but I believe it was in the 50s if I remember right. Oh, Zena, thank you. And thank you for saying hi to our new friend, Deanna. Glad you're here from Louisiana. My, I have had family there a long time ago. Um, supposed to get really cold in Alabama. You guys, are your teams playing this weekend? I, I've just, I might as well adopt one of yours. I've just given up on my Aggies. Uh, so I might as well just become a Bama fan, I guess. I don't know. But I tell you what, I can't even talk about it because then I just get frustrated and I don't want to say something ugly about our team because it's not the kid's fault. But I don't know, y'all. Let's just not even go there. 
but anyway on another note y'all tell me about your team who are, I know some of you because when I saw Alabama I know some of you are rooting for Alabama and I have no hate for your team you know I, I hear a lot of stuff online but I know we love our teams and depends on where you live usually and all that hello Brooke glad you're here hi Michelle and Lisa same kind of day thank you Zena for sprinkling your back is bad Sue I'm so sorry I sure do uh, empathize because people that don't have that issue you know may not quite understand but it really can just cause you to just be flat out and it's so frustrating because our mind is the same we have all this stuff to do and things we need to get done and places we need to go and we can't so it's really frustrating thank you Veronica for sprinkling LSU you play Arkansas tomorrow Razorbacks oh I know Debbie we love them but man it's no fun is it oh Oh, Brooke, y'all, Brooke has the tiniest, did I turn my camera around? I guess it doesn't matter because we're not going to have any writing, but Brooke has the tiniest baby she's nursing to health. It's like a one pound cat, right? One pound, tiny, tiny. Yeah, Lori, exactly. I mean, it's, it's football. It's, you know, it is what it is. I think I'm going to do just one more little round of that paint. Just a little bit. What did I do with it? Here it is. You guys let me know how your weekend, like what do you have plans? Or is anybody else putting up Christmas? I know it's early. I know. But I can't help it. I'm excited. I, lo I love it. I want to see it all for as long as I can. I know some people get tired of it. I do not. I'm just kind of covering a little bit of the places that I missed on that first round. This is deco art paint. It typically has, well, this does have great coverage. I just kind of quickly did it and missed a couple of spots, but. Oh, Beth. Oh no, I guess the weather, whenever the weather turns cold or it's raining, we have more issues. Michelle, that's right. Oh my goodness. Good, I'm so glad. You play Ole Miss? Oh, that's going to be a good game, Sheila. Ooh, that's going to be a good game. Well, I end up hearing some of it. I don't sit and watch, but I will see highlights. If my son's here, if they come over, then we watch games all day. But um, he won't be here tomorrow, so. Okie doke, guys. So I am going to jump on the bandwagon. I've had these in my craft stash for at least a year, and I haven't used them. So I'm going to use this for the first time, so you guys may have to help me since I've never used them. But I have seen some really cute things made with these, and that's why I bought them when I did. And I just, I typically paint more than I craft, but I, I do craft a lot for Christmas. So I'm going to I'm going to see what we can do. And I have some pretty stuff here to the side. I don't think y'all saw it yet. I kind of have it off to the side that we're going to embellish with. So, but you know, you know it's going to involve a little bit of bling and maybe a little bit of pink. But when you see me do this, you can totally do any color that you want. So don't, don't feel like, you know, oh, I'm tuning out. She's doing pink or something, you know. Just do your colors. So I'm going to kind of cut this out. Like I said, this is just a quick little sketch. So it won't be perfect, but that's okay. That's what makes our crafts kind of whimsical, in my opinion, is they don't have to be perfect. And um, I think I'm going to, like, unless y'all tell me different, I'm going to trace this on the back and then cut. So let's see. Hi, Dina. How are you today? I hope you guys are feeling better today and and just continuing to get better so I'm gonna kind of do a rough trace y'all it's okay if it's not perfect because I always end up you know embellishing I might have to cut it down a little for size who knows so just kind of getting this on here you know my little rough trace you could screenshot that if you end up liking this craft then you could screenshot print it and you know um and cut it out or whatever so let's do the hat because i have this cute little so i don't know 
what generation did this, but my dad wore these hats when this was, you know, back when I was a kid. So back in the early 70s um, with the earmuffs, y'all know what I'm talking about? It like comes down and then has like the long flaps, I guess. So if somebody knows what that's called, tell me. But he would work on our cars. You know, he did that kind of stuff himself to save money and just kind of taught himself and um, my granddad would help him but anyway he always wore those hats and I just always thought they were so funny like weird and why is my dad wearing that dumb hat you know I remember thinking they were kind of weird but now I think they're adorable and I think you know like they're just nostalgic for me I guess so I'm gonna cut this out just my little somewhat of a guide it's not gonna be perfect but It'll be okay. I see a couple of hearts coming up from my peripheral vision. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Facebook loves that, and I love that. So, thanks. Yes, y'all let us know how you're doing. Let us know what you're doing this weekend. Well, it's sticky, so I'm going to cut it out and then take it off. You're doing better. Good. You know what? My back is kind of decent today. So, so far, so good. You know, like... I just have to remember not to overdo. That's what, you know, sitting in this chair too long, um, not taking breaks and getting up and stretching it and walking and stuff. So I want it to be kind of not perfect because it's a hat and it's got fur on it and whatever. So I'm kind of doing a little rough line. Let's cut it. Only outside frame is sticky. What? Only the outside frame is sticky. This one's sticky all over. Hmm. Okay, well, we're going to see. We're going to see what we can do. Oh, you know what? I could have cut this. I could have cut his hat out. I should cut the hat out from fabric. Maybe. Because I did have some felt sitting here. <gasps> Arla, I see your little picture. I'm glad to see you. I hope that you're doing good, my friend. Sometimes when I know you guys have had surgeries or, you know, health issues, I'm so happy when I see you pop in. And that just means, you know, you're, you're here, you're with us, and you're not hopefully just writhing in pain. Okay, so we'll paint this, but I'm just kind of getting my sizing because I had a feeling this might be too big. Let me move this aside and grab... Oh, I know what I'll use. Okay, so I, I just grabbed multitude of things not knowing exactly what I would use for her hat or whatever. Still, oh, I know, I know, I know. I forgot. I did have a plan. I did. I was like, I know I had something, but I don't know that this is going to work. Okay, so wait till you see this. I'm not going to show you on camera. I'm going to cut it out. Oh, oh, you can see it. Darn it. Isn't this the prettiest pink velvet ribbon? Or, yeah, ribbon. It's like wired ribbon. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Okay. Oh, good, Arla. I'm glad you're doing good. Oh, my goodness. That's good to hear. Good to hear. You guys keep me updated as you can. Um, you're on my prayer list and... And I'd just like to, to know if you're doing better. And, of course, if you need more prayer, by all means, always let me know. Okay, so here's going to be the top part of the hat. And then we'll just add the flaps separate. So, yes, I need to cut this down, you know, to where the snowman's a little shorter. We'll just cut off some of the body. down. Oh, you're right. It's not all sticky. What in the heck? Okay. Interesting. I'm learning with you guys today. <laughs> So let's cut the size down just a little shorter and see how that works. And then we're going to give her a little hat. And let's do the little flaps. Okay, didn't know. Yeah, when you go to cut it, the sticky comes off. Interesting. Well, like I said, I tend to paint all the time and not craft as much, but... I do really pick up a lot of crafts in the winter and um, so I do a lot more crafting in the winter. It's kind of funny if you look at my videos or my YouTube you'll see it really picks back up in the winter. 
Okay, so there's our one little flap. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, okay. Can y'all kind of picture what we're doing here? I know it's kind of hard to envision sometimes. But I've got something I'm going to use for her fur on this hat. I wish I could just read. I wish I had a comment reader. I do. Ron is getting so much closer, y'all. He really is. He's now taking all my shipping for me. So I don't have to drive to the post office. He's taken all of it for me. And he has said that he will read comments. But I know he's a little freaked out and doesn't know if he can do it. But I keep showing him you guys as husbands. And, you know, last night, y'all, in Chris's private group, her husband painted and, you know, so I went and showed him and he was just like kind of dumbfounded. Like he just can't imagine because, you know, he's just not that way. So, so he's coming around y'all. He will be here one day. He will, you'll, you'll be hearing him. I, I do think he's going to have a hard time keeping up with comments. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Cause I, I mean, you know, I think I, it'll be fun. It'll be fun for sure. Okay. Look what I have for the trim. Let's just see. It may be too thick, but I'm going to try it. I might have to cut it. Oh, I think it's going to be so cute. I'm kind of just guessing on. This is a roll of, I don't even know what this is. Um, Hobby Lobby. It doesn't even say what it is. I just got it in the Christmas section. Isn't it the prettiest? It's like ribbon, sort of, but it's thick. What it feels like, it feels like a strip of Velcro with all this stuff glued on. So, of course, you could make it yourself if you have the glitter and things like that. But I was thinking that would be super cute for her little fur across her head. Um, so, let me paint this white. That's what I wanted to do is kind of get this a, a little coat of white. Where's my chalk paint? I had some sitting out. Isn't it pretty, Beth? I need to really get to using it because... I have a lot there and it's so pretty. He does a great job. I think all the guys that I've watched, all of them do a great job. And you know, even the ones who maybe aren't as personable, you love them because they're doing it for their wife. They're helping, you know, that's amazing. So we, we love that. So that's what I'm telling him. You don't have to, it's fine. Just, you can do it. So I'm just going to kind of brush this on. I didn't want it all covered, so we're going to see. This is um, a product that I've used a lot in the past. I haven't used it in a while, but it is a wash, a chalk paint wash by DecoArt. And I really like because it just, it's just, I guess it's similar to when you take your chalk paint and you add a lot of water, you know. So it gives you a nice chalk paint look, but not super thick. And so I use this a lot on wood signs and things. Just going to brush this on so that you have a little bit of gray in the back, but, but lots of white, of course. What are y'all thinking? Is this going to be cute? Do y'all see it? Oh, good. Hi, Tony. You guys say hi when you come in. Oh, you lost your Facebook. Oh, no. So, oh, so you're under as right, meek, Sherry. Bless you. How weird. You know, it's so scary, guys. And that's why I say, please, please follow me other places. So I have a Telegram channel. I'm on Pinterest and YouTube. And um, I have a website. You guys, be sure that you are following us in those other places. Because I, you know, you we all know that it anything can happen any day with this platform and we'll be gone or be in jail or whatever so so be sure you're following your favorites in all the places they are so that we have a way because we'll just be popping up live somewhere else i promise you that oh mary beth i see you i just probably didn't look up right as, as you commented last time sorry about that i know me too Lori. it it is so sweet yeah Brooke yes that happens that happens and it's kind of funny because you can see the frustration <laughs> but you know oh gosh y'all that like do you see what it just like made it like loosey-goosey melted how funny hi Joyce got a new photo and they messed up in the transfer 
Oh, wow. Oh, you got a new phone. Oh, I see. Hi, Trisha. Yeah, I try to catch y'all's comments when I see, when I look up and whatever's right there is what I'm seeing. So if you ask me a question or something, you can ask again. Or I think I'm going to do more. I don't know, y'all. I just kind of, I don't think I like so much gray showing. Um, but anyway, I, I'll go back and read comments. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I can't get back to the comments and I feel terrible. But I will try, even late at night, I try to go back and see if there were questions I missed and answer. But you can ask me again, message me, you know. YouTube channel name is Art and Grace. It used to be Art Grace Paint. But they just let me change and make it Art and Grace. So I hope that you can do a search and find it that way. Okay, let's see. Let me, let me do that heat again. From a distance, not too close. I do too, Brooke. Yeah, it's, they're good to, to try and help. And it does help. Oh, thanks, Mary Beth. You see me, Patty. Thank you, Patty. I'm trying to go back and be sure I didn't miss any new ones coming in, but I'm glad y'all are here. Oh, guys, tomorrow. Tomorrow is our day. I've been waiting for this for a month. I'm so excited to have our Christmas with, Christmas with Friends event tomorrow all day long. We have some surprises, so you guys be sure and come and join us. Look at that. The heat just like melts it. Of course. Okay, so I'm just going to get my placement down. So we'll have that here. I still think I might need to cut a little off. So I think I'm going to bring it in a little there. And then cut it a little shorter. She needs to have some big hips, right? Like her creator. we got to have some big hips on this girl. I just want to get our placement down before I glue and all that. So it'd be like, kind of like that. We're going to have this. We're going to paint on her face. We need some buttons and all the things. Um, I have bling. Here's what I was like. I just got this bling in yesterday. I'm so excited to use it. If you guys don't, haven't used um, Totally Dazzled, oh, you're missing out. They have, these become so affordable because they come in kits. So like you order a bundle. So you can get them a whole bundle for a really good price. Just, you know, just watch for a sale. I mean, we could make, do a scarf with that on it. I don't know. So I love that. I love all of them. Oh, I have an idea for buttons. Let's see. Hello, Shelly Ann. Hi, Sherry. How are you, Sherry? I haven't seen you in a while. I'm glad you're here. I love seeing you guys pop on. Come say hi. I know that we're all, as creators, just so busy. And we don't get to always check in on each other. But I'm glad you're here. So I was thinking, look at these little pearls. Or these little stones. Probably not pearls. I don't think they'll show up. But I love the, I like, so this was something I took off. Do y'all remember when I did the bling pumpkin? And I you know, ended up putting these all over a real pumpkin. Well, as the pumpkin was starting to look old, I just went over and just started pulling them off and they pulled right off. So I'm gonna use these on this and just kind of cut them off. Oops. We need a scarf too. Y'all don't let me forget her scarf. I kind of like the black frame. I was thinking I didn't know if I needed to paint the frame, but I kind of like the contrast. You're doing good. Awesome. Teresa, it's doing good today. I mean, I can actually say good. It's it's doing good. I've, I have to baby it. I know what I have to do. It's just really hard to, to do it. You just have to take lots of breaks 
and I lay down and put my feet up in a certain position to where it gives that place relief. And so you just have to do that off and on all day and it's a real pain when you have things to do. Hello, Jackie, good to see you. Haven't seen you in a while. Awesome, I'm so glad when y'all pop in. So good to see, oh y'all, how cute. Do y'all see this? I'll hold it up, so don't worry. I just wanna get everything kind of placed out how I want it before I start gluing and adding snow. Um, but we need a scarf, we definitely need a pink scarf. Where's my ribbon? Things get covered up here. Hi from Louisiana. Rose, how are you, my friend? How's the weather where you guys are? I haven't looked at the news at all today, so I don't know. What? Oh, happy Veterans Day. I guess happy. I don't know if that's the right term, but so grateful for all of you who have served or your family members have served. And I've, you know, uh, just thought a lot about that today and how we just cannot take that for granted. We cannot um, have to instill that in the next generations, you know, because we would not all be here doing what we do. We couldn't go to church and worship as we do. I mean, we just cannot take that for granted. So thank you if it was your, you, your family members that served. And um, I just tied a little rough knot and then have that go down for her scarf. We're going to have that kind of as her tails of the scarf. But um, I have a post on my page. If you have someone in your family that you want to honor and thank, you know, go ahead and, and list their name and we'll pray over them and say thank you. I am cutting this, the little ends to kind of look like a scarf ends would be. And I know I can't seem to finish a sentence, but I was saying about the Art and Craft Christmas with Friends tomorrow. You guys, get in the group if you want to see everyone in one place. You don't have to. You can watch everybody and hop page to page, but it is kind of nice to have one spot and then you can go back and they're all there. They'll, be, they'll all be there in a guide. You know, so like if, let's say for example, um, trying to see if anybody's on here that's in it. Uh, oh, Deborah, Splash of Paint by Deborah is a great example. Hi friend, she's in it tomorrow. So she will have her own guide and I'll pop that into her guide. And then anything else she posts to the group, I'll pop over to her guide. So if, you, if you're in that group and you're just looking for something, you're like, oh, I love Deborah. I'm going to go look and see. You know, you can go there. Of course, you can go to her page, but it's just a place. We all pretty much have a group for you guys to share what you're doing. Um, so that's what that is. It's called the Art and Craft Showcase. It's a free group. You just go join. Okay, so I think we've got, and then we'll paint the rest. I think I want this flap to be bigger. How are we doing on time? And then we'll add our snow. I'm glad, y'all. It's going to be, for us, it's, for me here, you know, it's going to be a great day to just sit and hang out and and support these crafters. See what they, everybody's going to try to bring you something you haven't seen before. It'll be, you know, great projects and a lot of fun in the comments for sure. And you know that I'll have some giveaways. So I do not want to make that. A, a central thing because I don't like it when people only want to hang out because you're giving something away so I'm not like advertising that but you guys are sitting here watching so I'm telling you you know if you're if you're on there tomorrow I might just pop in the comments and say hey thanks for being here give me your address and you know you oh y'all I'm so dumb I when I came in here I said I should go ahead and plug that in and then I was like well no it's too early because it was a couple of hours ago and now I don't even see my hold please hold please let's see where's my do y'all I feel like I hear the, the music you know when you say hold please and there's like doo, 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 doo. you know a little soft music playing okay guys hold one sec Okay, we're in business. Wow. 
Well, there you go. That's, that's Deb for you. There's always something that I have forgotten. Let's just try our E, not E6000, but um, that's a lot. I used a lot. We'll see if this works. This is the Dina Special Stick Fast. She has gotten many of us using it. <laughs> not dumb. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I shouldn't say that about myself, but you know, I'm just playing. But yeah, we do have a lot going on and lots of commotion in the house today. So yeah, yes, yes. The event is called Christmas with Friends and it's lots of craft around the clock sisters and a, a brother. I think it's only one guy we have. Um, if you are in, if you are a creator in craft around the clock and you want to be in the next event, let me know, just send me a message. I am going to kind of have a spreadsheet because I really love including people and um, you know so happy to add you in we only had a certain amount of spots it's so hard I've said this on a few of my lives it's so so hard when you want to include more and you just can't you just only have certain time slots but I want to support everybody and I, ooh, I don't know that stick fast is a good choice on this for sure. Look at that. No, that's too bad. I should have just been patient and waited for my hot glue. That's okay, guys. That's okay. No emergencies in crafting. Oh, Diane, you're live. Glad you're here. So hot glue will work better on the little flaps for the hat thank you Sherry aren't you awesome I appreciate that thank you thank you okay so there's her little cute hat I think it kind of looks like that type hat I'm talking about right there's our little strip. Let's see if I cut a decent size. It might need to be a little longer and then we'll cut it to fit. So I just kind of want to curve this a little bit so it's not flat on the edges. Can y'all hear the big trash truck outside? Sorry if you can. It's loud. Oh, cute. Okay. This definitely needs a good amount of hot glue. So that's kind of represents the furry little, you know, thing. And it really has a little fur on the inside of these too. So if we have time, <sighs> I would say that would be cute to add to, you know, how it's like that. But I need to kind of play. So yeah, I will probably do that if we have time. So let me wait till the end though. I want to be sure I can get everything done that has to be done. Okay, so you guys help me with the with the scarf. Maybe I should get her face on because I'm kind of guessing where everything is. Oh, thanks Sheila. Just a cute little fun. So inexpensive, you guys. Let your kids or grandkids help you. I say that every time, but I think, you know, you can give them their own little supplies and they'll start looking forward to doing things with you. And it keeps them occupied with something other than computers and you're building memories that I promise they will treasure because some of my very best memories are of me crafting with my grandmother. 
my mom did not craft and so when I was around my grandmother because she didn't live close but when we were there we always made something together and I still have some of those things and treasure them like no other when you're a kid you don't always think about you know this is special you don't think about that but boy now I just am so grateful for her okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do her mouth even though I haven't done her nose and I always like to make her mouth like out of little coal like charcoal so they're kind of shaped like charcoal I hope y'all can see I know I'm not holding this up very well for you or right, Emma like I usually do And then we'll do a little nose. You get the idea. I always say when you guys do yours, you make it perfect. I'm just kind of giving you guys some inspiration and an idea. But if you are new popping on, the frame itself came from Target. It was $3. And it's a really nice sturdy little frame. I love them. And then this thing came from the Dollar Tree. definitely needs a scarf and some bling yeah that's sweet though it, it's get something good that you can do with people whether it's grands all oh, Sherry does or um, family and sometimes even when they're not so crafty it just takes the right thing so um, you know find something that they enjoy so if it's I always go blank when it's kids I don't know stuff I don't know what they're into now but like you know say they're into unicorns then do one of these out of unicorn you know you just kind of have to meet them where they're at and find something that they like so for her scarf we would do something like that I might even embellish that a little to give it more interest so you know putting these two together let's just do that I'm gonna just put a little hot glue on here so it'll stay on that ribbon so just a little hot glue to attach to the ribbon and then we'll put that ribbon down so that just gives it a little more interest Oh, that's awesome. Oh, you did, Brooke? You like the gray background has a bluish hue. Yes, this is a paint um, called Winter Blue. I love it too. It's really, really a good one. Good one for snowy and I definitely want to add some snow in here. Lift up her little flaps to be, oh, almost covered her mouth, y'all. I'm going to kind of bunch it a little bit to kind of make it look like more of a scarf, not straight across. Okay. And then let's do, we have our one, two, three. Let's make these all different for her buttons. so far let's get some snow in this picture oh 
all rosy. That's awesome. I didn't know that. That's great. I'm going to take just kind of an old uh, boar hairs, boar, what do you call it? Boar's hair brush or like a chip brush and get some snow in this thing. This is Aline's. I bought it because I think they were out of snow tech, so I tried this and I like it. It's very creamy. It has just a little bit of glitter. It's glitter snow is actually the name of it. So, um, but I typically like snow techs for these. Either one, whatever you like, or you can make your own. I'm gonna get a bunch of snow down here at the bottom. Now just wait guys, I got another little surprise up my sleeve here. I'm glad y'all are here. I really, really appreciate you showing up and, and you know, a, a lot of you guys sprinkle me out. Thank you for that just really helps me have a great day and I hope that you guys have fun watching and chit-chatting in the comments and seeing how everybody's day's going even you know just kind of checking in with each other and okay let me take a look and see how that looks so Okay. Oh, look, I did it. I, I'm going to have to change that because if I want to hang it, I didn't pay attention to my little hanger. But you see the, you know, that's okay. Uh, for the background, I also want to do my, I was going to do some snowflakes back here. Let me see the time. Yeah, we're okay. Oh, no, we're not okay. Oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. We got to hurry, y'all. We got to really hurry because I'm definitely going to do this we are going to get some uh, diamond dust on this. She's got to have some, ooh, y'all. I am not on my game on time today. Wow. So when I'm done, um, or you can go before, <laughs> there will be another crafter after me with Craft Around the Clock. So be sure you support the next people if you can and watch them. And we just are so grateful you guys show up for us and, and enjoy what we do because we sure love it. But I'll, off camera, I will add uh, some snowflakes to the background of this, and then she'll be done. So easy, so, so easy, but it'll be real cute. You know I like a lot of diamond dust. Oh, totally dazzle, we've gotta add that. Where's that little one I had? What, that's the last thing and then we'll be done. Where is it? It's probably looking right at me. I must, here it is, here it is, here it is. So where do we want that? This has to, maybe it could just be a snowflake, but I, oh, how about right there? Let's do it right there, okay. No, oh, I hope I'm not over. I don't even wanna look at the clock. If I am, y'all should go to the next person because I don't want to take from them. Let me quickly, oh, just douse that on there, y'all. That's it, okay? There we go. Cute, cute. And then let me add some snowflakes and we'll be done. But I hope you liked it. I hope that you'll join us tomorrow for the craft special, which is craft uh, crafting Christmas with friends. Sorry, I'm nervous. I gotta get off here. Love you guys. Thank you for showing up. I'll go read the comments in a little bit. Have a good day and a good weekend and I'll see you tomorrow.